Hi, it's Lauren Parsons here from District 112 in New Zealand. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook page for your Toastmasters Club. Now, this is a fantastic idea as a platform so that you can share photos of your club meetings, tag your club members into those photos, and get the word out there about the amazing things that are happening in your Toastmasters Club. So join me now as I share my screen and I'm going to walk you through how to create this page that will help to create such a fantastic platform for your club. So you need to be registered with Facebook and head to facebook.com slash pages. On the very top right hand of this page, you'll have this green button here to create a page. So click the green button and it will invite you to either create a business or brand page or a community or public figure page. So we're going to create a community page by clicking get started. Then under your page name, you're going to type in the name of your club. So just put in the name of your club and then I would recommend putting in the location, the city or town that you are in. And then you need to choose a category. So we're going to choose community and then click the blue button to continue. Now it will invite you to add two images to your page. One of them is a small circle image and that is your profile picture that sits to the left hand side and the other is the banner image. So to head to toastmasters.org slash logos, if you head to the website you'll find that you've got all of the official branded images. So on this page logos, images and templates, come down to logo and design elements. So scroll down, find logo and design elements, and here you'll have a huge list of different brand images that you can use. So here we have just the plain color logo. You can, for example, click on that JPEG and then right click anywhere on the image and click save image as. If I come back again, as we scroll down this page, at the very bottom you'll find that we have got the social images. So for example, we've got the Facebook cover here in burgundy and the Facebook cover in blue. And if I click on that, again, we can right click on the image and save image as. So I've already done that and saved those to my computer. Now we're gonna click on upload a profile photo and I'm gonna use this color image right here and click open. And that will be saved as the circular image. And that's the image that goes beside every post that anyone that administers that page, because you can have several admins of the page, that will show up beside every post. At the top of the page, it has this wide image that's called a cover photo. So you could use a lovely photo from your club if you've got maybe a group photo of some of your club members and your banner, or you could use something like the standardized Where Leaders Are Made, Toastmasters branded image. And now Facebook will create your page for you. So it'll have those two images, and sometimes the image doesn't load immediately, and if that's the case, then you can click to add a cover image and just go through that process again. So let me do that for you now. I'm going to upload and click open. So it's just a little glitch, sometimes that happens. And then if you want, you can drag to reposition so we can move it up or down. So we can get it nicely centered about there and click save. So now you've got your page created. What you want to do is add a description. So click on add a short description. And there you can put in obviously the venue, the timing of your club, and something in the first couple of lines mentioning that you welcome visitors. So that will help you to get more visitors visiting your club. So enter that information. Then you can like the page. And most importantly, the next step is to invite other people to like your page. So you can click share personally. But what you can also do is to go up to the top of the browser, as I've done, and highlight the club name and all of these numbers that follow it, and then copy that, and you can then email that out to your club members and invite them all to like the page. So that's all you need to do to set up the page, add the images, add a description, grab the URL or the link at the top, and then you can send that out to invite your members to like the page. So I hope that's been useful for you to show you how to create your club page. Go out and do that. And then I encourage you to share as many photos on there as regularly as you can so that you can help to get more people involved in our amazing organization and help them become better leaders and better communicators. I'm Lauren Parsons from District 112 and I hope you've enjoyed this video.